So in today's video, we are going to check out the property in Parkland Bay. And this is the beautiful community, it's called Heron Bay. inside so this is the main clubhouse of the Heron Bay it's called Plaza del Lago this community has mainly two clubhouses and also a little bit small uh, other like basketball basketball courts or the tennis courts you will find in between this is a beautiful community it's one of the largest community in the parkland and this is kind of started building up around 90s and the best part about this you still find the new construction homes in this community right now too and so it has a lot many plants it's there is no cookie cutter plants in this in this neighborhood that's the best thing about this one more best thing is this community has even low hoa plants too so mainly it's a two HOA homeowner association, in other words. So one association maintains the outdoor and one association maintains the um, uh, clubhouse. So there are a few communities which were built around 2000. They are still having uh, the less charges like below 300 HOA. So that's really one of the best part. first share how the community looks like outside and this is uh, one of the community which is very famous especially if you're looking to buy something in a low HOA and also in a parkland so let me start this tour right now so if you check this this is a Heron Bay community <laughs> This is the Hawthorne section, is a subdivision. There are a lot many subdivision are there. Let's now start the tour for this house. So this house, if you see, it's a huge corner lot. It's a very big house. Uh, it's not 100% corner, but this is like if it's taking turn here. So a lot of easements are there. So you get a good amount of land here. It's a very big lot size if you check this out you do you cannot use uh, like almost 15 to 20 feet from the walkway however uh, this house is pretty good lot size I'm putting uh, numbers on the screen also so you know exactly how it is look at the huge entrance so this house has like a stone entrance uh, it's pretty it's a brick it looks pretty nice so if you buy something similar with the builder it, it costs a little bit more than the usual now we are going inside of this house so let me show you in a wide angle so they have a porcelain tile and they have a pretty good size ceiling this plan is very unique where you have all of the bedrooms uh, with some surprise entrance so if you check this out you feel like it's a single story house but it's actually not a single story house so now let's go uh, area by area so this is more like you can use as a dining area formal dining area or uh, many people have seen people using this as a office area too now this area if you go this is called more like a formal living room area and if you buy something in a florida area so it's mostly it's very common you get the two living rooms so if you're moving from some other states uh, many people wonder why do we have a two living rooms but that's quite a bit of style here and uh, two living rooms help such a way that you get to have some of the play area in case you have a small kids so in a family living room you can have a little bit of play area too and this is what here it's the family living room area 
So from this formal living room, if you go to the right, you have this breakfast area. This is also can be used as a dining area. I have seen people using the bench kind so that it stays in a corner and you can have a very beautiful chandelier. This is, by the way, it's a new construction. It's newly built. The specs are on my screen. So you understand how many square foot it is, how many bedrooms. And this area consider is a family room. So this one, many people convert to the play area too. All these windows are impact. Everything impact. There is no noise coming from outside. And also everything hurricane through. So this is a very good example. They have a remodeled property and almost everything the house has is a uh, pretty good modern contemporary style this is a kitchen it's pretty good size kitchen you see this this is a sparkle white cords are used as a two sink they did not i wish they had a little bit better uh, faucet but it's pretty nice kitchen sink they also kept the backsplash here this is pretty good it looks nice it's very elegant this is what i like the most gas so this community some of the subdivision they do have a gas that's many of my clients they want this and not every community has this so this is a really good value uh you know this house is offering and they have a, like a 42 inch cabinet so look at the size of the cabinet it's pretty big they have a garment style kitchen. So garment style means you have a double oven. You have a microwave. This is a complete separate. And pretty it's pretty good. And it's a KitchenAid product. So it's good quality product they have. And here is a pantry. Uh, many of the houses uh, here, uh, they don't have a pantry. So this is also really good value of uh, you have a pantry. This is a little bit of small area. You can put your appliances or something like a coffee maker, any of the mixer, juicers, things like that. They have a kitchen aid. Uh, barn door is almost a new refrigerator, seems like. And it's I like this style. This is I have never seen this kind. Uh, doesn't look like a new. They have a little bit of color discoloration here. But this is not completely new. Uh, they have a recessed lights everywhere so if you check this all the ceiling has the recessed lights so that's pretty cool i didn't turn on this side but yeah everywhere you have a recessed lights and you go to the left side you have a master bedroom this master bedroom is not very huge so this is a pretty good size uh, if you check this the master bedroom and it has a pretty good lights like all the windows are very wide and it has a pretty good lights and if you go here this is the master bathroom so master bathroom is pretty good and very nicely remodeled very neutral colors if you check this contrast looks nice and if you do watch closely they have some veins and it's not just like very brown and they match the vanity actually look at this it's me uh and the shower is pretty good size it's a very wide shower and very long shower check this out the whole thing it's uh it's pretty hard to take a video but yeah it's pretty good size shower so i like this uh bathroom it's pretty it's pretty good size it's not too small plus remodel done very good and the uh, toilet is very separate it's completely separate many times i've seen in a good like even 800 900 thousand houses they don't have a separate toilet this is a good size closet walk-in closet he's in her this is another one yeah i wish there was a floor that only they kept the same floor throughout that would look very nice now i'm going to show you the surprise entrance so surprise entrance to this to this uh second story that goes from here so this is the second story and they have a pre loft size uh, loft uh, look at this the windows light is pretty awesome it's all carpet on upstairs the room sizes are not too big not too small 
This bathroom is not too fancy. Same kind of cabinet. This one is a little bigger though. And in this plan, there is another bedroom downstairs. There is no light here. So they have a master and the one bath, two bathrooms, one master and one another bathroom downstairs. There's a laundry area. It's a lot huge cabinets, forty-two inch. So it's pretty good. And this is another bathroom, downstairs bathroom. Same cabinet, same floors. It's not too fancy. 